from cricketstoreonline.com and just uh, thought I'd do a little uh, ping test for you guys. There's a lot of talk about uh, different bats having different pings and also obviously uh, different pressings and how the different pressings affect uh, cricket bats. Uh, basically the process of pressing is to uh, put pressure on the face of the bat and that then creates a springboard effect so you have the harder surface with a softer wood below it you get that uh, power transfer to the ball so you get a nice springy effect. Now when you knock the bat in you uh, emphasize that surface pressure just a little bit and um, you then increase the springboard effect that you get. So uh, I've got 10 or 11 bats here I'm just gonna let you uh, hear the, the, the knocking um, with a, a mallet and then you'll be able to see uh, different bats that are made in different areas uh, have different sounds and then you can judge from that sound which bats will actually be able to play better. So um, starting with this, this is the Cryptic um, signature bat right over here. Um, this is about a $450 bat, it's made in the, in the UK. Um, also I'd like to say that all of these bats uh, measure between 5 and 12 percent moisture content. There is however one that measures uh, below and I'll let you make up your, your mind which, uh, which one that actually is. So we're going to start here with a quick tech. So that's hitting it in the, in the sweet spot and that's the pink. Quite a nice rebound. This is the CATRD, um, also available on my website. All these bats are available. Uh, this bat's uh, made in Pakistan, it's about $379. This is a Malik uh, Baba Show limited edition. I'm busy knocking in. Very nice ping on that one. This is a CA15000, also made in Pakistan. Also one that I'm uh, just about finished knocking in, actually. This one over here is my... Uh, one of my hammer Kruger bats. This will be stickered up as a Odin. Um, and here's the ping on it. See so yeah, how that one's got a bit of a different ping to the Pakistan CA15000? That one seems a little higher, doesn't it? That sounds a little duller. Here's another one I'm locking in for a customer. This is a Mongoose Super Premium. Here is the uh, Black Cat Shadow. Here's a awesome 45 uh, millimeter edge. Uh, this is a Laver and Wood Ultra. Uh, ultra Special Reserve. It's quite a different ping on that one, isn't it? This is Made in New Zealand by James Laver. Now we have a uh, Indian made. Uh, this is the SG Sunny Tunny. Bit of a duller sound on that one too, isn't there? Let's go back to... Uh, Back to the CA. Alright, another uh, English brand. This is the GM Epic Original. I think you can probably hear how hard that bat is from their, their pressing. I uh, thought I'd chuck in a couple wild cards. This is a very, uh, um, this is a covered, super cover SG cashmere willow bat. Oh, sorry, they say it's English willow, so it must be really low grade English willow to have it covered up so you can't see the wood or paint it over. And I thought I'd throw this one in. This is a 
completely very cheap uh, piece of English willow out of Pakistan. So I thought that would be helpful uh, just to help you guys uh, understand ping and performance, uh, knocking in, uh, pressing, all that sort of stuff. All bats are pressed. Um, you should be knocking in your cricket bat when you get it. Um, that's a, just a good indication. I would say out of uh, all those bats that a couple of my favorites would be obviously my bat, um, the mongoose, and probably the... Ali, so uh, Malik Babashir Ali, so let me let you hear the ping on these. All pretty similar pings. Those would be certainly be my favorites out of the three. And um, they're all going to be super, uh, super performers as well. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, you might have noticed I've got some new uh, professional lighting going on here. So light should be, not be a problem on my videos anymore. But uh, thanks for watching and let me, go, let me know what you guys think. Cheers, bye.